This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. You're not allowed to walk with a sort of an arrogant type of way, standing up straight. You're not allowed to walk with your head uncovered. Because of the covered Hashkina. So let's do the Mishnah Burra. Says the Mishnah Burra in Sif Cotton Test, proclaim as a Kufa, Shadaychi Gragni Hashkina, Kavi Yachov. Because it's if you're pushing away the, the feet of the Shkina. Al Kain Koswach for him to also have a pox in Arab Amas. To walk with an arrogant posture, even less than four Amas, is not allowed. But Pasha Dafilo Emir and Kaim of Ena Helech Kral. And even if you're just standing straight, just to, to have an arrogant demeanor is not allowed. Velo Yelech says the Mishnah Burin Sifkot and Yud. Even in a house where there is a roof, you're not allowed to walk around without a couple. The culture came tachas avir hashamayim, and certainly outside, under the skies, the yesh li zohel l'kula amah. One should be uh, one should be very careful. Arba amos. Now says the Mishnah Berurah. Now, just by the way, it's very interesting. What, the the issa of wearing a couple of, of not wearing a couple is it an absolute issa, or is it just a minug chasidus to wear a to wear a couple? Now the truth is. That it's that the, the, it's machlekes because there is a there's a marshal and there's a marami Rottenberg. They are both of the opinion that it's midas chasidus. The taz which the mishnah is going to bring says actually it's the strict halacha. But the interesting that the the the, the marami Rottenberg brings a good raya because the gemara says in Shabbos kuf yutches from its famous gemara it's the tesili gemara. Now there's, I'm they ask various people why are you going to be zeich why. Or what, uh, why are you going to go to Gan Eden? It's tasty, it comes to me because I did a certain Midas Chasidus, which implies this is not actual halacha, it's uh, over and above. Now that's what's special, that's why. So the Gemara says there, Amar of Huna Bereds of Yeshua, Tesili de la Sagina Arba Amas Begilurash. I didn't walk four Amas without a good, good, good. So it's mashman, it's Midas Chasidus. However, the, we'll see, so the Mishnah Borob um, will mention this. So this is back to Sifkot Nudalaf, Arba Amas. The Midas Chasidus is not to walk even less than four Amas. Even at night time, some people wear a shluf couple. But, uh, yeah. but that's Midas Chasidus. It's only also for those people who are very tsanua in all their ways. This is what this is there. He's the Taz, like I mentioned just now. He says in Simon Ches, It's an isogomor to go without a couple. Even if you're just sitting at home, you're not walking anywhere. Uh, take a look there at the reason. So in the Dirshu Mishnah Bur, in the in the note 20, he says, in Simon in Simen Samach Aleph, Sif Gimel, he asked a question. He says, you know, it's, it's an Issa, the Shulchan Aruch says, to go into a shul uh, or to say the Shem Hashem without a head covering. Uh, the Bir Halacha says over there, uh, The implication is that here it's also, we says, you know, I feel Arba Amas in its Osa, but with the Arba Amas it's certainly Osa. So over there it says only Osa to say the Shem Hashem. So it seems to be a contradiction. So he answers, "Kos of Shom Netaretz, b'Shem Haber Hetev, Shekan Ein Achiv Gomor El Amidus Chasidus Bevat." Here, it's not a Chiv Gomor to wear a couple. It's just a Midus Chasidus. V'Ilu Gabi Haskar Hashem or Beves Hakneses Har Is a Chiv Gomor Medina. So to, if to say a bracha or to be in a shul, there's an absolute Chiv to have a couple on. And to be to stam in other situations, it's a Midus Chasidus, but it's not an absolute. Uh, and the truth is, you know, in in, uh, in generation, uh, last generation, you know, the people would, you know, many people sit in offices here in England, and they would not wear a couple. It was it was very common. Um, so because it's minus chasidus, and therefore, it was, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's carry on. Uh, so it says the Mishnah Bura. Uh, carrying on the Mishnah one, two, three, four, five lines down in the Mishnah The chain cost of the Chumas Mahari Bruna. Because I'm going to have Ram, the Fidu even children, Nachan Nagilam, the Kisurash, it's important to, you know, to train them to wear a couple. Kihech, do they have a Lue, a Mos de Shmai, that they should have Yirash Shemayim? Kadi Issa Bashabas, it's another source for it. Kasi Reishech, the Gemara says there that you should cover your heads. Kihech, do they have Yaloch, Emsa de Shmaya. 
you should have Yerah Shemayim. In fact, the, the, one of the names for a couple is a Yamuka. Yamuka comes from the word Yore Malka. I always thought this is the source for it. Yore Malka to fear Hashem. And therefore, Yamuka comes from, it should, it should uh, inculcate the Yerah Shemayim. The Da'a, it says in Mishnah Bura, they didn't get a rush, die because I yad al rush. Interesting. It's enough just to put your hands on your head. Okay, we'll come back to that in a second. If you're if you're taking out lice from your hair, or you're, you know, you then to, to, to do so, to take off your couple, to do that, that would be okay. And when you're walking outside in the street to take, you know, just to have your hand over your head, that's not enough. Uh, in the Dirshan note in 21, he says. Um, what about saying the Shem Hashem with your head uncovered? Which we just mentioned. It means if somebody else puts their hands on your head, that's considered a proper covering. And therefore, Moshe writes, interestingly, based on that uh, Shulchan Aruch, you don't need to help happy does the couple have to be. So says Ramosha, proving from that later Shulchan Aruch, that if somebody else's hand is on your head, that's enough. And says Ramosha, well, somebody else's hand is not going to cover your whole head. So Ramosha says your couple, I guess, needs to be big enough that people can see it. But if you're wearing a couple, it shouldn't be a problem with sign, But it doesn't have to cover your whole head. He brings other Makuras here, the other that argue, and says that uh, couples do need to cover the majority. But Ramosha says clearly it doesn't. Okay. Um, is the what? Yes, uh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, yud base, you've got a new base. The Gilu Harosh, so, so that's going on the Machabu, which says you can't walk out of Amas Begilu Harosh. The Kolshikain says the Mishnah Burah, she also lavori, you can't make a brach of Wadim Nilmaid, and to learn Begilu Harosh, that's not allowed. But lo behind him is that, kiss Yad, and that, and putting a hand over your head won't help you. The Yad, the Rosh, Chad Gufa Inun, because the Yad and the Rosh is, 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 you know, it's all your body, it's the same thing. He says in footnote 23, the kisa rosh al yade shal yadim acher. The shulchan aruch says that would that would help. So if I'm learning or making a bracha and so I put my head my hand on somebody else's head, that would help, right? Va'af haguf yochel lechasa says answer. Sorry, ve'ein haguf yochel lechasa says answer. So put me putting my hand over my own head won't work. Putting my hand over somebody else's head would work. Yesh mekilim bezeh b'shas atchak kagoyin belaylo. She wrote the lishdos ve'ein lekova b'roshe. If you're rubbish in extenuating situation in the middle of the night and you haven't got a couple nearby and you're very thirsty and you want to drink, so then putting your hand over your head, the Devet would help you, even if it's your own hand. Better to be noeg like the world is noeg. In other words, you take your sleeve and you, you know, you like that, and you with your sleeve, you put your sleeve over your head. The odds have a sharp kiss of the Kulama, that's it. According to everyone, is okay. Because of our prima godim, the yesh lezoyah b'shas hanochas tefillin shal roish shlo yivar chabrocha b'roish megula. Very interesting. The prima godim says when you're putting your tefillin shal roish on, often you'll take your couple off, to, otherwise the, the ritzuos won't go on. And sometimes you know your head is exposed before you actually put the tefillin on, and you're saying the bracha with gila roish. So it says the prima godim, be very careful that you you're not doing that. A parok misaris. The parok he says in the targum there is a pair nochris. It's a shaitel, some sort of uh, toupee or some sort of head covering. Even those which are stitched with a bit of cloth underneath it, yesh ler, sir. Why? What's the problem with that? Because people don't realize your your head, your people will think you're not wearing a couple. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, carrying on back to the Mechab, and we'll finish off. The Yivdeik Nekova. We're talking about the general Hanhogas Haboike. So when a person uh, in the morning, he should make sure he goes to the bathroom, he doesn't need uh, the bathroom. Uh, continues the Ramav, Yechase Kol Gufay, Velo Yelech Yachef, he shouldn't go barefoot. The Yargil Atman upon his book of Erev, the person should train himself to go to the bathroom morning and evening. Shel Zrizus and Akios. Shel Zrizus and Akios. No one's showing up. Shel Zrizus, because that is Zrizus and Akios to be in a state of cleanliness, um, uh, to go to train himself to go to the bathroom morning and evening. Says the Mishnah Burin Yudgimo. So they should have a guf noki. So for shachris, uh, you should have a guf noki. And just to check that you don't need the bathroom. If you feel that you don't need the bathroom, that is called guf noki. If you don't need the bathroom, then you don't have to worry later on until you not to miss the bathroom. You don't need the bathroom, then you don't have to worry later on until you not to miss 
Krishma uh, Uzman Tefillah. Yochev. So then the Ramah says that you shouldn't go, you shouldn't uh, walk barefoot. Amr Chachomenu Achachom say, She Yimkar Adam Koma She Yeshla Vikach Mandalai in the Ragdoff. Wearing good shoes is so important to you that you should sell whatever you've got in order to buy good shoes. Um, what's the reason for that? Uh, so it says that the, the Dirshu note in number 27, to walk around, to walk around without, uh, um, without, uh, without shoes on is, is a lack of sneers. And that's not like the Marsha, he says over there, in on Shabbos, Kuf Chavtes and Madalov says that it, the problem is you catch a cold. If you walk around with bare feet, it's just medically it's dangerous. But we're going back to the Mishnah Bura. But in a place where there are Arabs and their, and their practice is to walk around barefoot in other countries, Shari, that would be okay. Because it's, uh, I guess, on the reason for the sneers wise, that it's not a lack of sneers. That's, that's how everyone behaves. Um, <coughs> interestingly, in footnote 28, he asked, they asked Rukhan Kanievsky, what about walking barefoot in Israel? Is that got a din? Well, what's the minigam welcome there? Is it like in Arab countries where you do see people walking around? And he writes, uh, his das, uh, he says, Shaminag lahakel. If there are cold places, you should be careful. So that lechur is like the marshal in Shabbos because mishmat zina. But b'makamat zorich, he says you you can be made for. Uh, just finishing off the mishnah bura. Oid kasev b'shem hashla dim oisim mishum tshuva alav enosav. If a person wants to go through some sort of tshuva process where he is uh, he's walking barefoot with some sort of tikkun, then that would be muta. V'chein also david hamelech alav hashalom chaylech yochef. He would walk. Barefoot, but that was part of a sort of a chuva uh, kapara that he was trying to achieve. Okay, that's the end of Simon Base. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.